In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install cPanel and WHM on Google Server or uh, GCP VM instances. Uh, for this uh, tutorial, I am assuming you have already created VM instances. If you don't know how to create them, then I'll provide the uh, tutorials link in the description, which allows you to install them very easily. So for this tutorial, I'm assuming you have uh, installed it on your GCP profile already. The few things that you need to consider while creating the instances are uh, to, you need to disable firewalls on HTTP and HTTPS traffics uh, which we basically used uh, to access WHM and uh, cPanel. Uh, furthermore, you can uh, reconfigure them later on if you forget to disable them on uh, uh, profile or a VM instance creation time. Uh, the next thing is you need to install this putty a uh, very light and open source software uh, i'll provide its uh, uh, official link in the description too uh, we use this for ssh connection uh, first of all we need to generate a, a, key, a random key you need to randomly move around your um, cursor in this empty space uh, it will generate a, a random key here you provide to uh, provide a key comment which basically act as a username later on while we try to log in into the uh, server session here we need to provide a key phrase or a password uh, then we need to save a private key in our uh, machine and uh, let's save it first It basically uh, it provides us an uh, uh, encrypted connection between a server, Google server and a machine, SSH uh, encrypted connection. Uh, it's basically wholly for that purpose. Uh, we need to copy that public key and we'll provide, uh, paste it in uh, our VM instance configurations. Let's just click on this uh, in uh, your instance. So, uh, click on this edit button. Scroll down and find that SSH keys here it is click on this show and edit now just paste your uh, public key here it will allow a end-to-end -end or a one-to-one -one, uh, key pair connection between your machine and the uh, Google server uh, one more thing that we need to do here is we need to make our external IP static by default Google provide us uh, ephemeral uh, IP Mm, here you can see I have already uh, reconfigured my IP into IP is type into static, uh, but uh, by default it provides the ephemeral IP. If you if yours is not, you can change it uh, after uh, creating your uh, VM instance. It will show you option here, which is not showing me in my case because uh, after making your IP static, you can't change it into ephemeral. So the next thing is. Uh, that we need to uh, do as a prerequisite is that uh, uh, we need to copy that uh, external IP and uh, make a session in a party software uh, you need to paste it in the host name or IP address box uh, one more thing is that we need to uh, you know, basically provide a private key uh, provide it a uh, private key for that we have saved uh, earlier so it like we have pasted a public IP in VM instance we have to provide it a private key too so that's it it's asking for the username that we have uh, provided while uh, uh, developing our session as a key comment so that my, in my case it was offroad now you have uh, to provide them a, a key password uh, one thing that we need to uh, set up before going into the installation or a, a thorough process of uh, WHM and cPanel installation is we need to create a, a firewall so let's just uh, provide its name uh, that firewall rule is cPanel there is leave the rest of things as it is now here the target we need to select all instances in the target uh, and source filter uh, as IP ranges and in source IP ranges we need to provide uh, 0, 0.00 slash 0 
and uh, we need to uh, uh, mention a few ports in the TCB section uh, like 2082 uh, and the whole range that uh, I am going to provide uh, my instance uh, to open for uh, cPanel or WHM uh, connections like 2087 is used by WHM and 2083 used by cPanel so let me just write it uh, I'll also provide uh, this set of TCP ports in description so you can just copy paste it I am purely writing them manually uh, okay let me just complete it 3306.53 and uh, also check this UTB box and provide it uh, 353 port <coughs> and let's just create our firewall rule for our cPanel installation okay that's it it has been created oh, a few loadings few more loadings left finally okay that's it uh, it has been uh, uh, basically it, it will be used uh, as a, uh, a firewall rule which allows uh, cPanel error with uh, WHM traffic. Uh, the next thing is we need to switch our uh, role uh, to a root user for this I, I have provided uh, executed a sudo minus s command. The next thing, the command is yum update we need to update a uh, yum agent it is asking me to provide uh, uh, permission so press yes um, by providing uh, capital Y okay it's updating my yum okay that's it it has been updated uh, and the process is completed uh, the next command uh, is we need to install a Perl so we instruct him as yum install Perl press enter I think I have miscorrected uh, uh, install the spelling okay okay it's it, it, it is showing that uh, we have uh, already a latest version of Perl installed so that's very good okay next uh, command is we need to install uh, wget using yum agent okay very good it's, it's also been already installed okay uh, the next thing is uh, these are the basically command that I'm using we need to switch off network manager we need to stop network manager or fire few firewalls in order to install cPanel so let's just uh, copy paste them one by one I'll provide them in the description so you can also do that so uh, that's it we have uh, stopped our network manager now we will moving towards installing uh, cPanel uh, let's just paste this command to install cPanel on our uh, Google server okay Ooh it is showing that uh, I basically have already installed cPanel uh, in my uh, Google server so it is showing that uh, a, a version of cPanel uh, has been found uh, uh, on a VM's instance so let me just show you by clicking on external IP here you can see it is a, a page generated by cPanel here you can see one more thing that I forget to mention is that uh, after the installation of cPanel which will take around about 20 to 15 minutes in your case if you didn't already have installed it uh, in my case it didn't take it that longer because uh, I have already installed cPanel on my Google server the thing is that you need to reset your uh, root password by executing paswwd command like I have shown you it is not asking me to change my password because I have already changed in your case it might, it might will ask you to type a password and then retype new password uh, which uh, allows you to uh, log into GA WHM uh, account uh, root as a username and the password whatever password you choose here it will then be used by your uh, it will then act as a WHM account let me show you uh, by just clicking on uh, external IP and then uh, pay write a, a 2087 port subtracted by colon uh, which is 
actually used by WHM. Uh, uh, okay, this is a place where you put your username, uh, root as a username, and the password that you chosen, uh, and in that uh, bash terminal. Whatever you choose your password, it will then again use here. That's it. As you see, we have just logged in. So we need to uh, accept this the, their agreement. Here we here just provide them our email. Oh, such an awkward process. The basic process we are asking you for your email uh, these name servers uh, basically used for uh, the resolving of your domain names uh, and act as a mediator between your name server uh, domain name and ip addresses so leave them at it, as it is okay uh, this is so you can see the whm has been installed let me show you cpanel by changing the port number from it to 2087 to 2083 here, here you can see this is the cpanel i can't log into it as i logged into whm because first i have to create a account for cpanel so that's it we have installed cpanel in whm on our google server and uh, this is all for this tutorial if you find uh, this video useful and informative just uh, click on that uh, subscribe button and don't forget to leave the comment thank you